Hey guys, today I have another unboxing from Moyu. Okay guys, so there was a ton in here. We're just going to start with these mini keychain cubes. So we have uh, 3 centimeters, 3.5 centimeters, and 4 centimeters. So recently I got this one, which is 45, and I also got the um, 50. So, but these actually come with keychains, so let's just open it up. Oh my god, alright, it's so tiny, and it has a keychain thing. Oh, but this is the clip kind, which is easier than, like, the ring kind, so that's good. Alright, let's feel. Okay, well, it feels very similar to the, um, 45. It has kind of a frosted surface as well, which I guess is nice for stickerless cubes. But, um, yeah. Really too small to grip. And this actually might be one of the smallest keychain cubes, I'm not really sure, but for the size, it definitely turns nicely. Let's look at the 3.5. Okay, so it looks very similar. Uh, the keychain thing kind of gets in the way. Here. Yep, turns nicely as well. It's very smooth. Has the same plastic. This one's a little easier to grip. Alright, so these are super cool. Let's just take a look at the 40 millimeters. Alright, so here it is. This one is the closest to the uh, 45, obviously. So, oh, keychain's kind of annoying. I'll probably take it get off. Okay, wow. So this is the size that I can actually, like, grip. I kind of had trouble gripping these two, but I can grip this nicely, and I mean, if you do prefer, like, really small cubes for OH, I guess this could be a good one. It's just, um, a few millimeters smaller than the, uh, smallest Zanchi, the 42 millimeter Zanchi, but, wow. Um, for a small cube, I'm really, really impressed with the turning. So after I looked at these a little closer, I realized that they don't just have the clippy thing up here, but they also have the clippy thing down here. So you don't have to like break it to um, take it off. You can just kind of take it out and then use it as a regular 3x3. So I think that's a really, really nice feature of Moyu. Next, we're going to get into this. It's the Moyu uh, Yilang Time Wheel. Okay, so let's just take a look at this. Oh my god. Uh, it looks really cool, but, um... Okay, it turns many different ways. So it has the middle slice like that. And then it has... Those inner things turn. Oh my god, alright. And then... The layers can turn like that. Okay. This seems really hard to solve. Oh my god, and it also turns like this. Wow. But, um, turning-wise, it feels pretty nice. Ooh, getting some mock-ups, but I mean, for, you know, a puzzle that's not really meant to be speed-solved, it turns very nicely. Um, yeah, I am getting some catches, probably just because the way, you know, the mechanism is, but... I can tell that this is really hard to solve, so if you're looking for a challenge, I would definitely say this is a good one. Okay, so next up I have this. It is the Magnetic Zinghen, I think that's what it's called, card, and Lucas. Another clear cube stand, which is nice. I guess this cube is just going to come with that, which is nice. Alright, screwdriver. We have some magnets, which is actually really nice. They're quite small, so they're probably not super strong, which I really like. Yeah, they're not they're not super strong, so that's good. Alright, so I haven't seen this released yet, but I assume this is going to be mass-produced, which is nice. So I did use the Zinghen for my main for some time, but it was a bit unstable, and I always said, like, a magnetic version would be good, but all the ones I tried, the magnets were, like, way too strong, so let's just feel it. Wow. Okay, so it's a bit dry. Um, you know, it's not like pre-set up in any way since I'm pretty sure this is just the mass-produced version. 
it's really fast, which I like. Some of the other ones, I felt the magnets just really slow it down. But, wow, this is really, really nice. You can definitely feel the click. Yeah, the click isn't overpowering, but it does click into place really nicely. Um, wow. So I'm really impressed with this. If you like the Guoguan, I would definitely recommend the magnetic version. It definitely adds some stability and, you know, just helps the cube click into place really nicely. So, out of the box, really impressed by this. I'm going to have to do some setting up because it is a bit dry. I'll probably just lube it a bit. And then do some solves. I think this definitely has main potential if I can get some good times on it. And last but certainly not least, we have the MF3RS2. So, oh, doesn't come in plastic or anything. Alright, same logo as the other MF3RS. Hmm. So I felt one at the comp today I went to. And it was set up and stuff and it was really nice. Um, this one is very dry, you can hear, um, it almost feels like a mix of the original MF3RS and the Guoguan Yuxiao Pro, um, yeah, it's really tight, so I can't really try corner cutting, yeah, for a budget 3x3 out of the box, it's already pretty good. I don't know exactly what the price is, but I assume it's going to be similar to the original MF3RS, which is an amazing price for the performance of this cube. Alright guys, so this is all for that unboxing. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!